What up, my friends? This is Ron with Crossroads Media, and welcome to today's episode where I'm so excited to show you guys some upgrades that we made to the Mako this last week while we were in Kentucky, and it was at Scott's Marine for its 10-hour service. While we took it in for the service, it was the perfect time to go ahead and do some add-ons that we'd been wanting ever since we got it. So we got the Minn Kota Power Drive iPilot 70-pound thrust put on here, and this is going to be great for this boat because it's made for shallow water and without a trolling motor on there, you can't get up into those shallow areas like you really need to and be beneficial to use a skiff boat. I also had a Helix 5 fish finder put on here with a side scan. I think that's super important down here a, to help you find structure and things like that to fish at, but also just that depth finder. When you're working in shallower water, it's obviously super important to make sure you know the depth of where you're going so you don't get too shallow and end up stranded somewhere. So we're going to put this boat in the water. We're going to take you guys out with us, and I'm going to show you some of the features of both the Hummingbird Helix 5 and this Minn Kota Power Drive. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out All right, guys, so one of the first things about this is super, super simple deployment. Get the GoPro bag out of there. You literally just reach down here, pop this lever, and it's locked in. Uh, there is a battery meter right down there, so that makes it super nice. And then once you get it going, you just turn her on. So this is my favorite feature about the trolling motor whatsoever. Uh, it is great to have a trolling motor because you can chase fish with it. But the one thing about a lot of places, or especially Bayou Chico right beside my house, I have a sand anchor and it just doesn't seem to work very well because I think there's a lot of silt in the bottom of this. And then when you get into rocky areas and things like that, it can obviously you know pose problems. So with the iPilot, you actually have spot lock or anchor mode and you see what it's doing right now. It's holding the boat in place. Um, a couple of complaints that I read about online with this, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. People were saying it does not hold your boat in the same direction. And that is technically true, but if you get your boat angled in with the current, um, with the head towards the current and the tail away from it, it's going to hold the boat straight. I mean, you're not, you can't put your, the front of your boat in the opposite end and expect the back end to not come around with the current. So, and it doesn't adjust for wind, but overall it does a great job. It keeps you pretty much in the same spot. Uh, as you guys can see, I, I mean, I know we're kind of out in open water, but we're not moving at all. There's not a ton of current right now and not a lot of wind. So it's not working very hard right now. Uh, it's literally saying zero. It's not even having to work right now. So, um, and it's just holding in place. But if the boat starts to move, it'll kick in and it'll lock us right in where we're at. All right, guys. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you how simple this thing is to put up. Obviously, you want to turn it off. Um, I think when you hit the switch, I think it automatically turns it off. So... But you're just going to reach down here, pop this little switch right here. And it's locked into place. 
So what you're looking at right now is one of my absolute favorite spots to fish in all of Bayou Chico. I catch everything here from trout, snapper, pinfish, as you can see here. Guys, I swear right now, these are the world's biggest pinfish. I've never in my life seen pinfish as big as these things. They're freaking ginormous. And this is probably one of my most problematic areas when I was trying to anchor with the sand anchor. It just would not hold here. The boat would automatically drift. Even on low wind and low current days, it just had a major problem holding right here. And as you can see here with the spot lock on on the trolling motor, it held right in place. I was able to fish here for almost an hour today. That one pinfish is the only thing I caught. Uh, drop him back in the water there and get back to fishing. All right, so not a bad day on the water. It's time to wrap this one up. I mean, today was more about just kind of getting out and testing the troll motor out, uh, seeing what it would do, how the iPilot works on it. Everything I anticipated it doing, it did. Uh, as you guys know, I love this boat. So that's just this is just another feature that makes me like it even more. I will tell you guys, if you're going to go get a boat, go ahead and put a trolling motor on it. I made the mistake of not putting one on when I bought it. I didn't think I would need it. I thought, you know, I can throw an anchor or whatever, but that trolling motor is a, is a game changer when it comes to fishing as far as, as being able to move up and down the banks and get it into some shallower water. You can definitely sight fish either, easier um, or sight cast. So I highly recommend if you buy a boat, go ahead and get one put on there just when you buy it. But uh, it's working exactly like I thought it would. I'll give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth review on the fish finder a little bit later once I understand it. Uh, for one, for those of you who watch very many of my videos, I like to be informed when I'm talking about something. And uh, I just don't know enough about this thing yet to give you guys a real good review or understanding of what it does because I don't know myself. So I'll definitely do a little research on that and figure it out and then come back to you guys. So tomorrow's a big day going out with a fellow youtuber tomorrow uh pretty excited about that there'll definitely be a video coming soon of that i anticipate that we'll be able to get on some fish tomorrow and uh put some in the boat hopefully so make some dinner so guys as always i greatly appreciate the support i can't thank you all enough for tuning in uh, we've had experienced quite a bit of growth on this channel over the last you know month or two and i think that's just from being us being a little more consistent but it's also from you guys watching the videos we can't thank you enough for that for sharing those if you have not subscribed we definitely invite you to subscribe to crossroads media uh, make sure you smash that like button on this video that truly helps us out a lot and uh hope you guys have a great day see you on the next one this is ron y'all be good